And Tasha's back now, and I know a lot of people, I was out and about this morning, and mm -hmm. all anybody could talk about was the sunshine. sunshine yeah. So nice. A little bit chilly, but mm -hmm. yeah. just nice to have the big yellow ball in the sky. Uh, tomorrow goes away, though. I mean, it's still there. Already. But it'll be covered up by... Fast. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So hopefully you enjoyed it. You know, we've been talking about the potential to see more valley snow. Uh, you think about about a week ago, we had 4.7 inches measured at PDX. So will we see anything like that again? We are monitoring the possibility. Remember last year, we picked up uh, the very last... Uh, it was the 27th of February when we had a trace of snow. Uh, but for the entire month of February last year, we had 6.6 .6 inches total, and that was measured in Portland. So could we match up to that? Could we match last year's total? It's all possible. We're going to explain why. 46 right now, Portland. Here's a live look from our downtown Skycam out towards the Steel Bridge. Really pretty images coming in tonight. Mount Hood Meadows. Oh, it's only 18 degrees, but that's keeping the snow up there, giving it nice and fresh for you. 43 seaside, looking at some lovely sunset images here. Lincoln City, 46, I think this is my favorite. Look at all those colors out there on the horizon, so nice. Now, let's jump into our ski report. So in the last 24 hours, of course, most of this falling from last night. Not so much today, of course, <laughs> because it was a nice uh, sunny day. Uh, Timberline, 7 inches within the last 24 hours. Meadow, 7 inches, 4 inches. Ski Bowl, Mount Bachelor, 5 inches. We're going to add on to that mix here for the weekend. Winter Storm Watch goes into effect starting Saturday afternoon, lasting until Tuesday afternoon. And it extends all the way from the Cascades to Central Oregon, Eastern Oregon as well in the mix. And as you go down further south towards California border, also watches included. Now starting tomorrow, though, a winter weather advisory in effect for the South Washington Cascades, not including any foothills. So you're going up at higher elevations above 4,000 feet. Snow potential anywhere from 5 to 10 inches possible there, lasting from tomorrow midday until Sunday early in the morning. Again, South Washington Cascades. So here's the big picture. Next front on the way for us. And by the time we get to the middle of the week, or excuse me, the middle of the weekend, we might be tapping into some subtropical moisture. So we're watching several systems out here in the Pacific. So the timing of this next front, though, for us tomorrow, bringing us rain. If it arrives any earlier, though, than let's say 7 o'clock in the morning, we're still going to be dealing with some freezing temperatures on the valley floor, even at 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. So we'll watch this closely on the timing of this front. Here we go about 6.30 in the morning, noticing that rain already there for the coastline. But it'll take some time before it actually reaches the valley floor, due in part to the coast range acting as a little bit of a barrier. So here we go, 10 o'clock in the morning. This is tomorrow. Still looking at eh, no rain Portland South until we get to midday and the afternoon. Now it arrives. But at that point, our temperatures are warming well above freezing. So we're not looking at that threat. In the mountains, though, as I was uh, pointing out, we're expecting additional inches of snow again above that uh, 4,000 foot mark. By the time we get to Saturday morning, still more mountain snow on the way. Next system riding up from the south, though, with the potential to not only bring feet of snow in the mountains, we could be looking at lower snow elevations as we get into Monday morning and possibly Tuesday. We'll monitor this closely. A lot can change here. As you can see, All this is all the way out to next Tuesday evening, painting in a very snowy picture for part of the valley. But again, I wouldn't put too much weight in this because that's still pretty far out. We're just giving you a heads up that we're seeing much cooler air setting in place. Combine that with some moisture. Now we could be seeing some low elevation snow. So now you've been given the heads up. We'll give you more updates, uh, of course, on air and online at coin.com. Yeah, as we all head into kind of the last week in February, mm -hmm. still yeah. hanging on winter, <laughs> <Yes>. still there. <laughs> February flew by. We'll be right back, everybody.